So I grew up in Gerringong, uh, south coast of New South Wales, beautiful part of the world, and it was fantastic. And I played juniors with my brother Ashton. He was out on the wing and I was in the middle with the forwards and nobody knew I was a girl because I had this giant headgear and massive shoulder pads and no one actually knew I was a girl until I took my headgear off. I'm Rowan Sims. I'm a former Jillaroo and New South Wales captain. I'm a current commentator with Channel 9 and ABC Radio and I am an avid lover of all things rugby league. I had started playing with Helensburg. We were there for a couple of years and then we decided we needed to come into the uh, Sydney competition if we wanted to improve and get better. And we actually went and created a team at Cronulla Caring Bar. A couple of years there, the Cronulla Sharks said, yep, okay, we're ready to pull you into the club banner. That was a wonderful step forward because not long after that, 2016, I was contracted to the Cronulla Sharks for the first time ever. An NRLW competition was slated to start around 2020 or 2021. That was when they were looking at it. But because of all this interest that had been generated, it just gained so much momentum. And the competition was actually accelerated to a 2018 start. And I got to play two years of NRLW, two years in a competition that I never thought I would see start. I think it's a real testament to the work that was done by the players who went before us. You know, now when you see the current crop of stars coming through, they are continuing to do that legacy justice. I'd love to see a couple more teams in the mix. Origin has to go to three games. I'd also love for the players to be getting close to a full-time job for them. I think the NRLW is being seen by commercial companies as a real asset to them. And I remember doing a piece with Bundy a number of years ago, and nothing like that had ever happened for the women's game before. It's drawing new eyeballs and it's drawing new money to the game, which is really important. So the quality is improving year on year. There's more opportunities there for these players at that top level. The more that these players are exposed to these professional systems and environments, the greater the increase is going to be at that top level. That's why the game's getting better, because there's just a lot more opportunity, there's great quality coaches coming on board, and when you combine that all, it makes for what you see at the end of the day, which is a really great product.